Right, let's get an important voice from uh, UK City of London Corporations. Chris Haver joins me to talk about uh, the latest as far as the UK-India ties are concerned. Mr. Haver, thanks much for speaking to NDTV. Let me start by asking you about the UK-India infrastructure financing bridge uh, and how it aligns with India's infra goals. Well, there are two key objectives to the bridge uh, that uh, we have signed with uh, Prime Minister Modi's government. The first is to provide and support with expertise and project management around the major transport infrastructure projects of Mr Modi's government. Uh, and to that end, I've brought over with me here to Delhi some representatives of very, very large infrastructure uh, project management and consultancy companies from London. And the second uh, objective is ultimately to introduce uh, potentially further capital funding for some of the projects individually as they gradually move through the bidding process. So we're hoping that this will be a partnership between the Government of India and the City of London. And the City okay. of London, of course, is the global financial capital. Uh, so we do have huge access to capital markets. Right. Specific projects that you can help us, uh, that you are considering, that this entity is considering? Well, they broadly, they broadly fall into uh, three categories. Firstly, um, road projects. Secondly, uh, rail transit projects. Uh, and, and thirdly, renewable projects. And what we're doing here in Delhi uh, this week is to start to narrow down what some of those specific projects right across uh, India look like and which ones are going to be appropriate for us to take forward as the bridge. Okay. In terms of the UK-India partnership right now, what more do you think can be done to strengthen it, given the fact that leaders of the two countries now realize the potential that it has? Well, we've always had historically a very strong relationship, as you know, historically with UK and India. Uh, one of the things I'm keen to see completed is the free trade agreement, which of course was previously in negotiation before the respective general elections in each country. Uh, and I think would be, frankly, an excellent achievement for both the Indian and the UK government if that could be brought to a conclusion. Absolutely. FTA is something that's now being brought back into the talks. Uh, but in terms of broader direction, where do you see UK benefiting from India's uh, growth potential, given that it's really the fastest growing economy in the world right now? Well, let me firstly say that we are extremely envious of uh, India's growth trajectory. Uh, it is doing so incredibly well. The growth rates are phenomenal in this country. Uh, and we now need to get uh, economic growth into the United Kingdom after some 15 years of no economic growth. So I think the opportunity for working together has never been better. I think City of London is a natural partner for India and for the Indian government. And hopefully through this bridge that we, uh, I am co-chairing with Niti Aog, uh, that we will be able to contribute towards the ongoing growth of, of India and indeed helping to grow the UK economy at the same time. All right, Chris Haber, thanks much for speaking to NDTV on the prospects of the UK-India partnership.